morning from Scottsdale and welcome back to Masters Live. It's officially the first full day of Masters 2025 and we're already off to a great start. The classrooms are filling up and the engineers are already engaged in hands-on problem solving. We love to see it. If you're just joining us today, last night was the kickoff keynote from Microchip's executive chairman, Steve Sangi. And wow, he was inspiring future innovation. A standout moment is his repeated question to customers, what is it you cannot do today that you would love to do if you only knew it could be done? It showcases his commitment to customer success. Absolutely. Now today is packed from classes to demos to expert labs and of course a few surprises. We've got some great interviews coming up later today. First, we'll be talking to Matt Bromley, VP at Siemens, about what their team is bringing to Masters this year. Then this afternoon, we'll sit down with Patrick Marcus from Marcus Engineering, a longtime Masters regular with a sharp take on where embedded design is headed. And tonight, Innovation Night kicks off featuring partner booths, hands-on demos, and the return of the legendary beer boat races plus a keynote from Rich Simonsick, Microchip COO. In the meantime, let's head to Grace and see who she is talking to. Hi everyone. So today I was walking around looking for something new and I found myself at the analog section. I was wondering, huh, what time is it? And then I found the atomic clock expert, Chris Higgins. All right, Chris, so what do you do at Microchip? So I'm an applications engineer. I'm coming in from Beverly, Massachusetts, uh, where at that location we build some of the world's most precise uh, time and frequency references uh, around, that are deployed around the world. Wow, that's really cool. So what exactly is an atomic clock? So what an atomic clock really is, is it's a clock that's super stable over long time periods. You know, most clocks, like in your watch, they're gonna drift over time, that's why you need to adjust them. But because we're using an atomic reference, those properties never change, and we're able to get an output that stays accurate for years and years and years. Oh, that's really cool. So what can they be used in, like certain applications or? Yeah, so they're used like everywhere. So if you think like uh, critical infrastructure and the power grid, you need to synchronize a lot of different base stations before they put uh, power out onto the grid or even your phone and your positioning system. GPS is really enabled by precise timing. Oh wow, that's really cool. So what do we have here? So today we're showing off our embedded atomic clock portfolio. We've got something for every application. We've got the miniature atomic clock. It's got some of the best performance for its size, weight, and power. And then what we're really known for is the chip scale atomic clock, which is the world's smallest, lowest power atomic clock. So what differentiates our atomic clocks than others in the field? We really, we really have a complete uh, portfolio of atomic clocks, whether it's an embedded system that requires a battery and precise timing for months and months in a GPS-denied environment, or we have you know, mini-fridge-sized atomic clocks that can be deployed in critical infrastructure that provide precise timing for things like satellite imagery. Wow, that's really cool. Well, thank you for your time, Chris. All right, back to you guys. All right, thanks, Grace. That's going to do it for our morning segment. But we'll be back throughout the day with more highlights, more guests, and coverage of everything happening here at Masters. That's right. We got robots, beer boats, roulette wheels, and if you're not watching, you're missing it. Stay tuned. We're just getting started. This is Masters Live.